Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an empties video. It's been about three months since I last did one. So all of these things are products that I have used up since February. So we've got some body care, we've got some makeup, we've got skin care, we've got hair care, we've got miscellaneous as well. So I just wanted to share with you guys the things that I'd finished and whether or not I think they're even worth repurchasing. So take this as like a mini review of products as well. So let's start off with makeup because I know that's always what people are interested in the most and I've got a few things to share with you guys today. The first up is the Superstay Vinyl Ink from Maybelline and this one is in the shade Koi which funnily enough is what I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. I love it that much that I repurchased it as soon as I realised this was about to run out and I use it a lot you guys. For me to actually finish things like lipsticks considering I'm a makeup YouTuber is saying a lot as to how much I actually love a product the perfect pink colour for brown skin tones and obviously these are long wearing long lasting uh, don't ever need to be touched up and remain glossy pretty much throughout the day and then another vinyl ink from Maybelline is in the shade called Unrivaled this is a beautiful magenta shade again so popular when it comes to brown and, and especially like South Asian type skin tones this is the kind of shade that flatters every single one of us because of the fact that it's not red it's not pink it's a nice mixture in between very vibrant and glossy I've got some eyebrow pencils. I've actually got three eyebrow pencils today. These are the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencils. My shade is in number five, medium brown. And this is the Maybelline Express Brow Ultra Slim Pencil, again in medium brown. These ones I got through quite quickly because of the fact that there's hardly any product inside, but they are really, really good. The nib itself is only one millimeter and the nib on this one is 1.5 millimeter but this one costs a lot less the Maybelline one as well as the fact that there is a full amount of product in here so this is my more affordable long wearing version of this I just got these because they were on sale on Black Friday at the time my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner again what I'm wearing right now it should be no surprise this is my ride or die holy grail liquid eyeliner it's got a felt tip nib and it is completely black opaque and doesn't crack fade bleed all come off throughout the day and I absolutely love it. This is the Huda Beauty Baby Bake Loose Setting Powder. My shade is in Banana Bread. I went on holiday quite a lot last year and I needed a smaller version of the one that I use every single day as it takes up less space in luggage and I've obviously finally finished it. I absolutely love this. I use it every single day to set my under eye concealer and it stops everything from moving throughout the day. My lower lash mascara has unfortunately been discontinued and you can't buy this anyway. I'm really upset about that. This is the Maybelline The Falsies up angel and the reason why i loved it so much is because brush fibers are only on one end which makes it very easy to put on your lower lash line but unfortunately you can't buy this anymore so i need to find an alternative my urban decay all nighter setting spray again holy grail of setting sprays i use this every single day to set my makeup once i have applied it to my face it freezes everything on the face stops it from sweating off stops it from removing cracking fading going patchy i absolutely love it but let's move on to some other random things that i've got in front of me I don't know how many of you are interested in candles but I absolutely love candles and I've got through a few over the past few months sorry they look a bit black and burnt out but that is what happens when the candle starts to go to the end and the flame starts to flicker around anyway this is from the brand called Parks London this is the orange cedarwood and clove candle oh my god you guys it smells amazing again if you like the scent of like orangey kind of scents you will really like this but it's not overpowering citrusy it's quite subtle and I think it's excellent this is a tiny one that I got as part of an Eid gift from one of my friends this is from the brand called Star and Carter and the scent of this is called Gold Dust these are 100% soy wax candles absolutely lovely but unfortunately it's so small it finished so quickly yankee candles who doesn't love yankee candles this one is the chocolate easter truffles you guys i hadn't used this since last year and it was like half finished so i finally finished it this is not actually something that i would repurchase i found the chocolate scent to be too overpowering and too sweet this was a gift from one of my friends this is from the brand called anthropology which i'm sure you guys have heard of they sell a lot of clothes as well as homeware and this is the apothecary violet leaf oud fragrance candle number three you guys oh my god it is so strong it reminds me of men's aftershave and i love the smell of this very musky very sexy kind of smell and i was so sad when it finished let's move on to body care now i've got quite a lot of body care in front of me mostly from lush because you guys know that i absolutely adore lush let's start off with this shower gel called what's up doc this is a carrot scented 
sweet and juicy sort of shower gel absolutely love it smells kind of like sweet so i can't remember if this was limited edition but this is a great shower gel this one i absolutely love this was released for eid as i remember this is the sticky dates shower gel this one basically smells like dates vanilla and sandalwood it is such a gorgeous amazing smell it smells like baked goods almost i've got a backup of this Next up is this tinier version of one of the shower gels. This is called Blood Orange. This is again another kind of orange scented one. Smells kind of like, it smells kind of like kids medication. I can't remember which one it was, cod liver oil or something. That's not medication, but you know what I mean. Smells like that. That's the reason why I bought a small version. This is not something that I would repurchase. This one I actually picked up when it was Halloween time. This is the Toil and Trouble Shower Scrub. This is not something that I would personally repurchase. It contained a, a quite a liquidy kind of shower scrub and the pieces in it were just too big. And then on top of that, there were three or four bats on the top and the bats were basically shower jellies and it's very difficult to break them up it was just always a big mess in my bathroom and that's the reason why it took me so long to finish it, it smells okay but i wouldn't buy it for the purpose of the scent ah the snow fairy body lotion you guys snow fairy snow fairy candy floss scented comes out every christmas every christmas there's an entire snow fairy range and i've slowly managed to get through this since December and I have got another one or two of these. It's very, very moisturizing, very luxurious. It does have a slight greasy feel to it. This is a body butter from Lush. This is called Lime Bounty. I'm sure this is part of their permanent range. So this one is lime scented. It's got very similar consistency to Snow Fairy in that it's very moisturizing, but fairly greasy. It does sit on top of the skin. And then there was a massive layer of shredded coconut over the top. And then there are also chunks of it in there as well, which would never melt down when I was rubbing it into my hand. Again, it was too much of a faff, too many bits and pieces. When it comes to body lotions, I just wanna slather it on my skin and go. So this is not one that I would repurchase. This one is a relatively new product from Lush. This is the Biomic Self-Preserving Body Cream. Now this I would definitely repurchase. Very lightweight, sinks into the skin beautifully. Smells like marigolds from what I'm, yeah. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. It smells like summer. So it says that it is a cream rich in beautifying flowers, herbs and oils to soften and nourish up and firm the skin. That's why I believe it's called a self-preserving body cream. And then last but not least, are the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Lotion. Alongside all the other lotions I have, I always use these. I don't use those every single day. I use them every other day. But this is generally the one that I tend to reach for quite a lot because I've got eczema prone skin, very dry skin and very sensitive skin. This is the one which is for normal more to dry skin 200 mil lasts me a good couple of weeks sinks into the skin and keeps my skin moisturized all day without any kind of irritation and is unscented don't have as much hair care as i normally do i'm not really sure why but anyway so first off we've got the olaplex intensive bond building hair treatment in number zero i tend to use this as the first step in terms of my hair care i basically take this off i know they released this spray but it sprays a direct spray at the head rather than a fine spray and i feel it leaking down my scalp is absolutely awful so i actually decant it into something else so as i say it's an intensive bond building treatment and it is best used as a two-part system with number three hair perfecter to strengthen and repair all types of damaged hair i've also got number three here so i tend to use them both together i drench my hair in this leave it 10 minutes then i apply this to my hair get in the shower wash myself and everything else and then i wash my hair and i apply the olaplex mask on my hair as well this i use once a week and it really helps keep my hair quite glossy and fairly healthy considering it's quite damaged because i do color it a lot don't know if you can see a line here where i've got hair dye on my hair because i dyed my hair earlier this is my ride or die holy grail and only shampoo that i have used for the past 20 years this is lush's rehab shampoo i've got very sensitive scalp i've got a very dry scalp as well and all other shampoos tend to make my head itch and go flaky this is the only one that has never caused that and that's why i continuously use it up until this day i only tend to wash my hair once a week so when it gets greasy towards the end of the week i will tie it up and put it into a ponytail or a bun and then i will fix it all into place using this super drugs style expertise sculpted gel spray number one now bear in mind it is now yellow 
it is smaller in size and costs some more of course so this is one of the older ones which i'd managed to finish not gonna lie i have bought the yellow ones they're still an excellent product for me it comes out as a fine mist and it keeps my hair in place all day without anything falling out it doesn't go crunchy and it's not sticky at all but it keeps all my hair nicely stuck down so that it's not flying around now i know you guys are used to seeing loads of skincare videos from me but i'm sure you must be wondering she gets so much skincare does she actually use it up so here i am to share some of the things that i have finally used up for you guys first off is the dear claire's rich moist foaming cleanser i absolutely love it it's got a pump on the top you pump it and the foam comes out ready to rub all over and wash your face with so this is a very hydrating cleanser for those of you that have got dry skin and irritable skin you will absolutely love this as it's very very mild it contains ceramides and it balances out your ph levels it really nicely moisturizes the skin leaving it feeling so soft and nourished once you wash it off with water this is definitely something i would repurchase another cleanser that i've got a small version i think i took this abroad with me which is why it's now recently been finished this is the payong kang yul low ph pore deep cleansing foam this one is another very mild cleanser and it balances out your ph levels i'm not sure whether i would repurchase this one it's just that i used it because i had a sample size version it's not bad but it's not amazing it does the job basically and i only say that because of the amount of skincare that i own there has to be a line where i have to draw where some things are excellent and some things are okay but that doesn't mean that they're bad this is the birch milk refining toner from the brand called then i met you they are an american korean brand this is on the pricey side this is basically an AHA PHA toner. So it is an acid based toner that you must use with caution. It contains birch juice, marshmallow root, squalene and glycolic acid. These are great for people that get blackheads, whiteheads around their nose, chin area, people that suffer from acne related breakouts. It's a very, very strong toner. So you must make sure that you don't use any other acids when you use this, uh, for example, for your morning routine or your nighttime routine and you must use sunscreen. It's very, very strong, but very, very effective. Another tiny toner that I got, again, I took with me abroad. When it comes to ordering Korean skincare, they always send samples, and I always make sure to take them with me when I go abroad. I never throw them away. This is a Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This is an excellent toner. I've used this in full size as well. Very hydrating, very moisturizing, very nourishing, and great for anti aging. Another tiny one I've got is another popular one I'm sure you guys have heard of. This is the Laneige Cream Skin toner and moisturizer so it's a hybrid toner and moisturizer in one very very moisturizing very nourishing this is great for people that have got very dry skin people with oily skin should maybe steer away from this i've got combination skin which is why i will only use it at night as it is that rich and intense and if you've got really dry skin it will really help to nourish the face it's one of those great hybrid toner stroke moisturizing products which means that you don't actually need to apply moisturizer if you don't want to this is from the brand called nine wishes this is the their Calm Ampule Serum. So this is for basically relieving any kind of redness on your face. When I've had irritated skin, when I've had any kind of breakout, when I've had any kind of allergic reaction, I've immediately applied this to my face and it has very much soothed it and nourished it at the same time. This is a product that I definitely would repurchase. It's very lightweight, so it's great to use for the morning as well as the evening. This is from the brand called Beauty of Joseon. This is their Revive Serum Ginseng and Snail Mucin. This is definitely a product that I would repurchase and I have used this in the past. You have to remember that Snail Mucin is known for repairing damaged skin, for nourishing the skin, for repairing the skin's barrier. It also contains a whopping 63% of ginseng root water. This product is great for anti-aging, for hydration as well as nourishment. And it helps to improve skin's elasticity as well. And it's quite runny so it absorbs into the skin super fast and I used to actually use this as part of my morning skincare routine. This moisturizer is from Wishful. This is the Honey Whip Peptide Moisturizer. Absolutely love this, highly recommend it. Pricey, but I would say it's worth it. It contains niacinamide, it contains manuka honey, contains Sika for soothing and calming the skin, collagen for plumping the skin as well as peptides this is an excellent excellent moisturizer which i would definitely repurchase plus i love the fact that it actually does smell like honey this is a product i'm sure many of you have heard of before because it's been around quite a long time and plus it's very popular this is the dear claire's midnight blue youth activating drop this is an intensive peptide treatment basically this is for anti-aging and for those of you that are really serious about maintaining that youthful skin or you haven't had a chance to do that yet and you want to kind of 
help to reverse the signs of aging as best as possible. It contains a dual peptide formula, which is known for its anti-aging benefits. It also contains guazulin, which another product that I'm about to share with you guys also has that in it. And that ingredient is known for soothing and calming down angry, red, irritated skin. Guazulin is actually extracted from chamomile oil, which is why it's so good at calming down your skin. This is small but mighty, as they say, and this is definitely something I will repurchase. Sticking with Dear Claire, as I already mentioned, this is the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I don't know how many times I keep telling you guys, get this, get this, get this, get this. I've already opened my next tube. I had to use it on my mum when her neck got all red and irritated for absolutely no reason the other day. Voila, the itchiness stopped. The redness went down. She was perfectly fine the next day. You can use this for sunburn. You can use this on bites. You can use this on irritated skin, angry skin, burnt skin. Every kind of skin issue that is irritated that you can think of, blisters even, I have used that on this. It immediately calms down the itching and the angriness. If your kids have run into nettles, it'll stop that itchiness and stop them scratching and that sort of thing. I use this on my face after I've shaved it as well. Stops it getting red and irritated the next day. You got a sunburn as well. I've taken this on holiday with me. It's absolutely excellent. After sun care, you guys will definitely love this. You should have this as part of your skincare collection stroke medicine cabinet. This is the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG. I've been using this for over 10 years, I'd say now. This is great for puffiness under the eyes. I always get puffiness under my eyes. I always have done. And the caffeine in this basically, which acts as a diuretic, helps to reduce the puffiness under my eyes. So I apply this at night time when I wake up in the morning. Any puffiness is either gone or completely reduced. I don't find that this helps with dark circles as they claim that it does, but I'm happy that it actually does what I needed to do in terms of the puffiness. So I will continuously use this and I am using one right now as well. The Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Bakuchil Eye Cream. This is a retinol alternative. Basically, Bakuchil is a plant-based retinol and it is excellent for anti-aging. I've actually already opened my second version of this. This sinks into the skin beautifully. It also contains Sika for soothing and calming the skin as well as collagen for plumping out that area if you've developed any kind of fine lines and wrinkles or if you're using it for preventative measures like I do. This is an excellent product. I love this. Another eye cream that I finished over the past three months was this one here by COSRX. This is the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream and it says on here an eye cream that nourishes and brightens with snail secretion filtrate and five types of peptides for a youthful glow. Personally, I just find it very moisturizing under the eyes. After I use the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution, which is just basically a liquid, it just dries down there, but it doesn't moisturize the skin. So using products such as this and the previous one are great at retaining that moisture under the eyes so that the under eye area doesn't get all dark and crepey and dry. I only got a few more things, I promise you guys. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I got this as part of a set. This one, I can't even read on it, it's the lemon one. Basically, it's a great, well firstly it smells like lemons and it's a great nourishing sleeping mask, quite thick and greasy-ish, like a very strong balm kind of feel. And it's still on my lips when I wake up in the morning, I wash it off and my lips are nice and smooth. Okay, now the miscellaneous stuff is the last part of this video. I've got three of these Nivea Double Effect Water Eye Makeup Remover. These are those biphase ones, which is like half oil that you have to shake it. I use these every single day. I wear fake eyelashes and I also use latex-free eyelash glue, which is quite sticky and difficult to remove. So I use these to remove my eyelash glue. This is great at removing liquid lipsticks like this one as well and great for removing very strong eye makeup and mascara. So I've finished three of these. Two deodorants. This is my Nivea Pearl and Beauty Antiperspirant 48 hour protection. So I use these all the time. For those of you that suffer from severe dry eye, and I don't just mean, oh, my eyes get a little bit dry in the summer. I mean like me who suffers from dry eye syndrome and has issues with their eyes in terms of contact lenses, etc., whatever. I use these eye drops here. They're called Hilo Forte. So these are intensive lubricating eye drops. You can apply these with your contact lenses in or without. I tend to use these 
about two to three times a day to keep my eyes constantly moisturized. They can make your eyes a little bit cloudy for about 10 minutes, so just be careful that you're not getting into your car and stuff like that. I order these off Amazon as they are that difficult to get a hold of, but trust me, if you suffer from seriously dry eyes, you will love these. Talking of eyes again, this is my Boots Sterile Saline Solution, 360 mil. This is basically what I use to wash out my contact lenses. Now, I wear daily disposables anyway, but sometimes even just picking up with your finger, a piece of fluff has appeared from somewhere, I don't know where, and I just wash my lenses with this. Sometimes I run it over my hands as well in case there's any fluff or lint attached to them, and this is quite cheap as well, so I use this almost every day. I've got an Escada Taj Sunset Perfume. My aunt bought this for me in the airport this time last year. Oh my God, it's taken me a year to finish it. It's been in my handbag sometimes here and there, now and then. Smells lovely. Smells like a tropical desert. It smells very kind of passion fruity. Lovely perfume to wear on a, like a daily, daily kind of basis. And the last thing to share with you guys, which I can't actually show you because it's finished, these are the cotton pads that I use every single day. These are from the brand called Nature Republic. They're a Korean brand, but they actually have a store in Westfield in Shepherd's Bush. That's where I buy these from. So these are called five layer cotton wipes, 80 pieces. So basically it's one thick cotton pad and it has five layers to it. So I actually tear it in half, use one half in the evening, one half at night, or I tear it into five pieces, soak it in essence or toner and just stick it on my face and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. These are very, very versatile to use for a variety of different reasons. I don't actually use these to remove my makeup at all. So I think that these are excellent. I've got another four packets in my room. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, but that's three months worth of things that I have finished. And I have shared with you guys, obviously, the things that I will repurchase and why, and the things that I won't repurchase and why I didn't like those either. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all soon.